back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see some of the important questions in Introduction to Embedded System Subject that is BETCK105J or 205J. Let us see module-wise important questions in this subject. So the module 1, if you look at, it is Introduction to Embedded System and Core of Embedded Systems. So here you can see Embedded System and General Purpose Computer Systems. So you can expect the difference between the general purpose system. So this question is also asked in introduction to electronic subject. So this question can be expected. Uh, general purpose and embedded system difference. So this question will be asked. And also you can expect microprocessor to microcontroller difference, RISC and CISC, and also big Indian, little Indian differences. And before that, a very common question you can expect in embedded system is you need to define what is embedded system and classification applications of embedded system they will ask and coming to the second chapter core of embedded system here they may ask to just briefly explain about the cores which are the different processors and all we can use in embedded system design or uh, programmable logic devices can be asked to explain and coming to sensors and actuators LED and 7 segment display is important. In any subject, if you see 7 segment display uh, in the syllabus, they will ask how that works and how to configure that 7 segment display. And optocoupler, stepper motor control, these are the questions you can expect from actuators. Then coming to communication interface, there is onboard as well as external communication interfaces in module 1. Uh, you can expect out of one question from these. USB, I2C, or Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. So four to five marks they will ask, or they will combine two interfaces and ask to write about that. If any block diagram or any diagram related to that, you need to write and explain the working of those. And explain watchdog timer can be expected, or a reset circuit or brownout circuit can also be expected. So these are few questions from module one you can expect. Coming to module 2, it is of characteristics and quality attributes of embedded system. So directly characteristics of embedded system uh, will be uh, the important question and also operational quality attributes and non-operational quality attributes. So from uh, question 1, 2, 3, you can expect two questions, I think. And functional diagram explain washing machine. This is also a very important question. Since this is an application of very good application of embedded system, you can expect this question in exam and inner working of automotive domain embedded system things and also automotive communication buses included in the system. So these are few questions from module 2. Coming to module 3, it is hardware software co-design and embedded hardware design and development. Here it is a combination of some part of um, components and programming models related to hardware and software design and second parties of electronic things required in the embedded system. So one question will be on the hardware uh, software co-design, maybe fundamental issues or uh, computational models in embedded system. Then coming to the digital electronics required in embedded system, logic gates, encoder, decoder, multiplexer, demultiplexer, you can expect one question like this. And you may expect the differences between the sequential and combinational circuit with examples they can ask or directly they can ask any flip-flops with two table and block diagram to explain and 4-bit register implementation using D flip-flop and uh, counter design. These are the things they will explain for, uh, uh, I expect for 6 to 7 marks. So you can write the circuit using flip-flop and uh, writing the counter explanation, how it is going to count a 3-bit from 000 to 111 like that. And similarly, HDL based VLSI design process means uh, the uh, process how it is going to take place. So these are the questions you can, uh, you are not supposed to skip any of these in module 3. They are very, very important. Coming to module 4, it is embedded firmware design and development and uh, development environments. So here, super loop based embedded system firmware design approach is important and also OS based approach is important. Then assembly language to machine language as well as high level to machine language conversion process is there. That process you need to write without miss. This is also very, very important, these two. And coming to advantage and disadvantages of assembly language you may get are 
this is the embedded system development environment they may ask and these questions you can expect easily they will ask uh, any particular thing or they may mix up and explain briefly they can ask like this and coming to module 5 module 5 is uh, operating system related rtos and based embedded system design so system architecture they can expect os architecture and different services of kernel and real time kernel are important and here process uh, and structure thread and process differences and about multi threading and also thread class uh, libraries multi processing multitasking so these are the questions very important over process and uh, threading is concerned and also multitasking types they can ask scheduling algorithms are important here and explain context switching with diagram so these are a few of the questions which i have listed here about embedded system based on the other question papers or other embedded system subject uh, previous exams are concerned so these are important you can easily score in this subject i think it is full of theory no problems included over here so you need to particularly point the answers in your examination and you can underline the very important thing in your answer that will fetch you more marks. So this is about important questions. Thank you.